we are on day three of Shrimp Week with the Fricks family. So guys, make sure you come over to my channel to see what me and my hubby up here smacking on or whatever. Bye. What up fam and welcome back to our channel, I'm Deb. And before we get into much day, check out the description box down below to get you 10% off your codes using the coupon code CODES. Welcome back, it's such a treat. Grab your plate fam, come on, let's eat. So, before you, we got lunch from one of our favorite sushi places um, in the area. I've got a dynamite roll. I have the description running on what's in there. I got a bento box and a Filet and, ter and teriyaki shrimp box. We got some bang bang shrimp over here, California roll, soup, some gyoza, and the salad. All right, so y'all see what we have going on. Now don't get too caught up over here and what I'm eating and forget to go on over and check out P's video once I'm done eating. We got a lot of new family members. Hey y'all, how y'all doing? Y'all could be anywhere on these YouTube streets, but y'all chose to be here with us. And for that, we surely appreciate you. And if you came over from Prissy's channel, thank you for showing up. Yes, you got stuck with me again. The weather. I mean, everyone reacts differently when it's muggy outside. Around these parts when it's muggy, Jackie's just want to lay around the bed. Chill and cool it. Mm. Don't mind the construction workers. So are you ready for a late summer? Because according to all predictions, the summer this year isn't gonna officially start. I don't know why that, why I wanna go and do that. Isn't gonna officially start until June, y'all. I think like middle to the end of June, I'm gonna look and put it up here which one it is, but. Man. That'll put the fall this year from September to December, y'all. That's a long fall. Well, a shifted fall. As for us dealing with Alabama weather, our springs are always littered with rain. So we'll probably be in. Cause that's when colds thrive. I don't know how many of you guys out there believe in the groundhog, but here ours 
Cause most people don't like they're different groundhogs. Here our groundhog is rarely wrong. So when they say this is a shadow, I was like, ma'am, this is gonna be an interesting extended winter. And boy has it. Hard piece of lettuce. Three more days. And now I get to start working on the bed. I am extremely, extremely ready. Because I built things before. I've worked on things before. But something from the ground up of this magnitude for my home, not yet. I want to help the friend do a platform bed. But I was there on like the back side. He did all the measurements, the lumber. I just helped with the assembly. Not saying that when I was there, I didn't appreciate it when I was there, but man, when you move away from a place that you really enjoy living and have a pretty good quality of life, when certain things happen and you reminisce, you're like, man. Texas and Alabama, life in those two states are vastly different. You know, I gotta say, I really do miss life in Texas. The quantity of things to do. But not just the quantity of things to do, the quality in the quantity of things to do. Which that's another reason why I also have really take, taken a fond liking to Atlanta. Because prior to going to the military, I did frequent Atlanta a lot. But everyone would go over there and then for some reason or not, wind up moving back and just swear, oh, it's overrated. So I never got to really experience it and see it for myself. Until after the military. And almost to the latter half of my 20s. Well, not even it was the latter half of my twenties where um, I started frequenting Atlanta. I lived in Texas and California before I even really took a trip to Atlanta.
but the quality and caliber of things to do over there, especially with having a family, different from Alabama. But it's pretty good because I've enjoyed a lot of the activities over there. Pretty good lunch. Too bad I couldn't have my date with me. giving the boys some water. I got a question for y'all after this. Mm. That is indeed dynamite. for you because everyone's experiences are different if you've ever experienced like the being swept off your feet head over heels in love do you feel like your situation was normal the usual or was it actually different Then your sister, your brother, cousin, aunt, uncle, any number of people. I know mine for jazz was. It was unbelievable to some, but here we are six years later. This one makes six years married, five beautiful children, lifetime of memories. Tremendous bond built. And this has been different than like every relationship I've had in my entire life. to say hey Michael yeah it's shrimp it's shrimp mm -hmm. that yeah. I'll be at our store unique my wife swept me off my feet we off feet yes what type of person who she is what she stands for how she treats people how she loves people. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
<laughs> and those are all traits that you can only pray, hope, and imagine get passed on to your children. That is wasabi. It is very, 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 very spicy for you. I don't recommend. me. I don't recommend eating that, son. Don't touch it. Okay. Okay. What about a piece of filet meat? You want a piece of steak? I want a piece of steak. Mhm. Mm Take a bite, please. There you go. But because I mean your children are supposed to be a part of your legacy. Yes, y'all are. So you're supposed to want to leave human beings that are gonna try to change and impact the world we have. <clears throat> Make a difference. If the status is more stable. Good morning, Gabe. Mm-hmm. that conversation the other day y'all right now we're just gonna finish out this meal Pay feel that is that salad mm-hmm also i'm gonna get my own chopsticks no son you're not gonna eat the salad with chopsticks today fork you can have though so our fam shout outs go to these wonderful people right here if you want to shout like them, all you have to do is subscribe to the channel, hit the bell so you'll be notified when we drop good eats like these, and comment. Because we can't give you a shout out for commenting if we don't see your name in the comment section down below. And Fritz wants to show you his slap bracelet. Yeah. 
like it. You like it? Uh, Daddy, do you hear the TV? I do. Me too. We poop. Dad, I'm still chewing. Babe? Daddy, go to the house. Daddy, what is that? It's a strand of meat, huh? Now, what's this called? It's called a California roll. I'm it's pork. I thought it was a fried roll. Uh, um, it could be a fork. Don't stab us when you're gonna break it. They can't have one of those Well, what? we're about to get out of here. So, until next video, fam. Love you guys. And don't forget to go check out Chrissy P's video yet again. Well, on another day of shrimp, we okay.